here today with Tim Campbell, an artist in Keene, New Hampshire, in light of our contest that is coming up for Sturber Janky Workshop for our customers to submit their photos of wall decor in their homes and for a chance to win some of Tim's uh, original paintings. So we're here today to learn a little bit more about Tim and his life. Tim, thank you very much for having us here today. Thank you. All right, um, so you were born and raised in Keene. Could you tell us a little bit about your childhood and your upbringing? Mm, it was normal. Yeah. Keene was a great place to grow up. Did you go through the whole school system? Did you go to Keene State or? No, no, just high school. Mm -hmm. That was it. Yeah. Okay. And did you always want to be an artist when always. you were younger? Yeah. What kind of things did you get involved in as far as art when in you were younger? In second grade, I won an art competition for the whole school district. Oh, wow. Yeah, beat out the high school kids even. But I flunked four years of art in high school, so I knew this is what I wanted to do. Okay, excellent. <laughs> now, did your family influence you at all growing up? Were there other artists around you no. that kind of gave you inspiration? No, no one. Not really. Mm -hmm. No. All, all about you, right? All about me yep, and the big O. Uh-huh, the big <laughs> O. All right. Now, um, what were some of the first mediums of art that you experimented with as far as painting or... I know sculpting has kind of come later on. Yeah, that's newer. I've always painted, yeah. Painted and drawed. Mm -hmm. uh, I used to draw a lot. Mm -hmm. Now it's painting. Yep. Mm -hmm. I mean, Picasso is one of my idols, mm -hmm. as is uh, William Hopper. Okay. That's about it. And me. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> I love 18th century portraits. Mm -hmm. I think they're so cool with the hydrocephalic heads yeah. and little teeny bodies. So do you study or do a lot of research before you no. jump into a painting? No. Mm -hmm. It's pretty much let's go do it. Well, I like to paint on wood. Wood mm -hmm. is the best thing to paint on. The canvas, not so much. The wood will age and age the painting along with it. So that's why we like doing that. Animals are cool. Yeah. They're not like people. Yep. They're much cooler. <laughs> I actually saw a post at an antique shop and I was just standing there looking at it and I said, this looks like a person. Mm -hmm. And I bought it, brought it home and turned it into a person and it was easier than I thought. Now you have a lot of the similar um, themes, historical figures and animals. Is there one that you prefer to do with the sculpture? Something that's maybe... Abe Lincoln fortunate? is my favorite. Mm -hmm. I mean, he was a genius, and that face was like no other. When you are looking for these materials, what are some of your favorite ones to look out for as far as wood or metal scraps? Mm, it doesn't matter. I just walk through antique shops, mm -hmm. and something's going to jump out at me. Mm -hmm. I'll use anything, mm -hmm. as long as it doesn't stink. Okay. <laughs> I like titles as much as paintings. Okay. So we try to grab the attention with the title also. Now specifically that one, The Victim's Family, was there a, another story about the crime uh, or? I had no idea what I was going to title it when I was doing it. And then after I looked at it, when it was finished, they looked like The Victim's Family. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. I'll do a photo. Mm -hmm. um, I like to work at night. There's no interruptions. Mm -hmm. There's no phone calls. There's no interviews. So, mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, so I take a photo, bring it home, mm -hmm. go from there. Okay. My favorite painting is uh, Zeman and Gooch. Mm -hmm. um, I was doing this abstract of this fat Italian lady shelling beans, and my grandmother actually told me that it looked like her Aunt Mena Gooch. Oh, okay. So that's Zeman and Gooch. Okay, excellent. And what is your favorite sculpture? Abe, of course. Okay. Yeah. We love Abe. A lot of the galleries I was in have closed mm -hmm. due to the economy, but I'm still in Atlanta, mm -hmm. Vermont, New Hampshire, and the majority are on Cape Cod. I have paintings in just about every country. Wow. So I've shipped to every country I think there is. Early American Life okay. magazine. I won the 2010 Best Enlisted. They give it out to certain numbers every year, and I was one of the ones chosen. We have the fame, now we yep. need the fortune. Now you need the fortune. <laughs> <laughs> I have a lot of people from Germany on my fan page on 
Facebook. Oh, so interesting. Shoot for Germany next, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Now, is, do you think that's because your artwork is maybe similar to a German I don't know. style? Or? I have no idea. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, I know that there's a lot of Germans that are fans of mine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, um, how and when did you start working with Frames Plus as far as distributing your place? It was three years ago. Mm -hmm. um, I believe Brian contacted me, or I contacted Brian maybe, and it's been great. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now that obviously led to your um, work relationship with Sturber Janky Workshop. With Sturber Workshop, Workshop yeah. So how, how do you feel that that uh, work relationship is We love Sturber Janky Workshop. I, used to, I actually got the catalog before I was in your catalog. Okay. So a lot of my stuff in the house, you noticed, is Definitely. from Sturber Janky Workshop. So I guess this is a good point to bring up your dog, Otis. He obviously plays a big part in your life. He does. So can you tell us a little bit about how he influences some of your artwork? Um, well, I met him before his eyes were even open. Um, and he's been with me for four years. And he's just the uh, love of my life. Oh. He really is. Oh, yes. Yeah. I noticed he has some pictures as well. We like, do. Yeah. We try to do a different portrait of Otis every year. People besides yourself, do you enjoy the working galleries? with? Yeah, I love them. Yeah, galleries as well as Frames Plus as well as Sturbridge. How does great. that fit into your life? Love you it. Yeah? yeah. That's what it's all about. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I mean, uh, we're all here to make money, and artists will tell you they're not here to make money, which is a crock. Because that's mm -hmm. what we want to do, is sell our work. Right, do what you love to do and sure. make money doing it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like a farmer saying he doesn't want to sell his plants. Mm -hmm. What? No. You know? Yep. You're an artist, so you're art. Yep. I'm crazy, I probably am, but uh, yeah.